So how about getting dolled up to go to the post office, huh? Yeah. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. So if this is content that you think you might enjoy, smash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. Every interaction that we have with you moves us up in the algorithm into the YouTube world. So ladies, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about a neutral, natural type look with a little bit of drama because i got to go out to the post office. Yes, so I thought maybe if I could put my mask on and peek out with my doe idea little uh, eyelashes on, hey, you know what, we do what we can, right? And then i got to stop by the grocery store as well too, so go ahead and get it all done at one time. So if you want to see how I got this natural little nude look with some of the products that I got from uh, my recent Ulta haul, separate video, but hang tight and we'll get started on it right now. So what we're going to do, I haven't tried this um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I've tried their regular Photo Focus and their Dewy, but I've never tried their Stick Foundation. So I've got this in Soft Beige. So I really love uh, the Stick Foundation from Lancome. I don't know how this is going to compare, but I thought we'd try it. Okay, I've already primed my face and I used the TIZ03. It does have a sunscreen in it of uh, SP40. And it's kind of sunny outside today. I do have a few errands to run, so I thought I'd go ahead and put that on. Um, I used the uh, Wet n Wild Rose eyeshadow primer. So I've got that on and then um, I've done my eyebrows with the Fab Eyebrows. Just a real quick and easy eyebrow with that. So now we're going to go ahead and start with this foundation. I'm going to use um, my favorite Artiste brush on here. So I'm going to see how this covers it says, let's see, does it say it's um, light, medium, warm, I think is what it says on here. Okay, so we'll see how this works. Oh, I hate it when I get a hair. I have a loose hair from somewhere. Oh, okay. So if you've tried this foundation, let me know what you think, or what you think, excuse me. So far, I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a warm. A warm shade. I know the uh, the Lancome one that I use um, is a neutral, but my skin tone typically goes toward a, a little bit of a warm. Uh, I can't wait till the oh, when everything warms back, opens back up, and I can start going uh, and getting the spray tans. Uh, I've already got an email from them stating that they'll honor you know, the missed time on the contract that I already have. So that's that's a good thing. So so there's without and then with. So let's go ahead and do this side. It does have good coverage. So, oh my goodness, I went and walked four miles this morning 
with my daughter. Her being a flight attendant, she's not getting to fly too much, so she comes over in the morning, and we've been walking every morning that we can. It was 39, I think, this morning when we went out, but uh, sun was shining, there wasn't a breeze, so we ended up shedding our coats by the time we got back to that three-mile mark, and then completed uh, just a, we just did four, came back, and uh, then I came back, and uh, we made, excuse me, I made French toast and fruit. She loves it. I think that's her favorite. So, uh, had that, and then she's got to go to the grocery store and get her stuff. I've got to go and get my stuff, and we'll meet back up tomorrow morning and walk again. So, all right, so there's, there's the foundation. Oh, and what I'm doing, I've got a few of these items that I just recently got from my Ulta haul, and I'll be doing a video on that as well, too. I'm trying to, no, I was looking for the cap, it's clear. Okay, set it aside. So there's that. All right, what I'm going to do is go in with just a touch concealer. I don't know how some of these women just, I mean, they just put it, uh, this whole layer, and I, I just, uh, I just, I can't, but maybe it's because I don't have, they may have more blue or something under their eyes. I just, I really don't have that much, so I just do just a smidgen, just a smidgen. Oops, it's on there. So, we've had three days of cold weather here in North Texas. And today it's going to be high of 64, which that's beautiful. And then tomorrow it's going to be in the 70s. And then it's going to be down to 64 again. So spring and for North Texas is just taking a little while to get here. But, you know, uh, it's so pretty. I'm fortunate to where the neighborhood that I live is in one of these master mega uh, plant neighborhoods and we have these a uh, huge park and walking trails and creeks and playgrounds of course no one's on the playground right now oh I just used this was the uh, elf camo hydrating concealer so I use that uh, so I'm gonna go in with my by Terry hyaluronic acid um, powder just get a little bit on these little I love these little bitty uh, sponges it's got a little flat side and it's just right for underneath the eye so I'm just going to set that concealer there with that just a smidgen all right so there's that now I'm going to go in with uh, no, I didn't use it beforehand, so I can't now. I was going to do the Elf Putty Primer, but I put another. I used another primer, so never mind with that. All right, the Believe Beauty little uh, translucent setting powder. So what I'm going to do is just go into a little bit on this, just into where. I see uh, my pores, which is typically just in the T-zone a little bit. I can really tell that this foundation is warm. I'll be interested to see what it looks like out in the sunlight. All right, there's that. So, this is another item I got in the Ulta sale. And if you're, uh, let's see, today that I'm filming this is April 15th. Happy previous tax day for the for the U.S., but it's been delayed till July 15th, but I already filed mine anyway. But uh, this is the Milani um, Silky Matte 
bronzer in Sunkissed 02. I've got quite a collection of the bron of bronzers now. I love them for some reason, but all right, I'm going to take my favorite bronzing brush, Sonia Kashuk. Oh, okay. And it immediately gets a lot of powder on there. I'm going to tap it off. And kind of spread it around. Do the three. Go under my chin. Bronzed, not bronzed. So let's go do this other side. Tap it off. I just do, when I'm as pale as I am right now, I'm just doing uh, a little bit of bronzer. Now, when I do uh, talk about my spray tans that I do, I have a, I go to a person who does it. And uh, because I do have eczema, uh, I don't let her touch my face with it. So she just does from the neck down. And then I will darken my makeup when that when I get to start doing that to kind of make it kind of more even flow. So all right, so we've got that. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of blush, one of my favorite ones, which is uh, Chanel, and this is the uh, number 260 Elzane, -E -E. It's a beautiful, warm color. So I'm going to use my favorite blush brush, which is, this is... I think it's a Sephora and it's just a round, you know, different one. People, everybody likes different, their brushes shape differently, but I just like to dip mine in straight on and then just tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to go back and just kind of in circles, just kind of. And then I'm just kind of blending it in. I'll go back on top of it with a big powder brush to kind of blend is also. So there's that. Big fluffy. This is the uh, Sephora Pro Featherweight. Uh, when I bought this, I was actually looking at buying the Le Mers, uh powder brush, but this was so comparable and so much more affordable. So I'm just going to just kind of blend that in a little bit. All right, so for a highlight, I'm going to use the old... Old Faithful Becca in Opal. And I'm going to use this little, it's a real Techniques brush, but it's just a little bitty fan brush. I'm just going to dip into that. And then lightly dust it on top of that cheekbone. Okay. I'll take a little bit above here, a little bit down my nose, and a little bit on the cupid, cu cupids, cupids bow. <laughs> Something like the, uh, what is it uh, that, uh, oh my goodness, the comedian, Ron, Ron White, is that his name, where he did the talk about the cupids? Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. So I don't sound like I'm the only crazy one here. All right, so there we've got that. So for eyes, what we're going to do is this, and I've had this a few years, but this is a Milani uh, eyeshadow palette, and it's called O2 Bare Essentials. And it's just neutrals in here. 
So I'm going to go in with my small crease brush, which is when I find it. Oh, here it is. It's the Sigma E45. And I've got my switch pan here. All right, and this shade, I'm going to take their brush out right there, right here is a really good transition shade. So we're going to start with it. And then start here at the, leaving a little bit of a space between the brow. And then just bring over. Get that crease shade started. Go back and get a little bit more. So I'm doing basic, just a pretty neutral look today. There's hairs in the way. So it's Wednesday, like I said, and I'm going to go to the grocery store. Uh, I've got to go to the post office. I'm putting uh, my giveaway box in the mail today to Miss Linda of, the, uh, let's see, Sassy. Just sent to her in Florida. I hope she likes everything in it. Uh, I've got to go to the grocery store. I am making a chicken pot pie tonight. It's going to be another cool evening. So that's a good comfort food on a cool night. I buy, usually once a week, I buy a huge thing of chicken breast. And I'll put them in the crock pot and take them out and shred it and then I'll make different things from it throughout the week. We're not a big uh, go out and eat type couple. Uh, we prefer to, I prefer to have fresh food and I know what's in it. I mean, not that I don't want to support the local businesses but we just don't typically go out and eat a whole lot. Uh, we're pretty good about having balanced meals. I always say there's got to be green on the plate. So, uh, but chicken pot pie is, is so easy to make because the chicken's already cooked. But... You know, I cook all that chicken and then I put it in a big container and I take it out. Sometimes I'll make enchiladas or soft tacos or a casserole. Uh, just different, all kinds of different things. And it just makes dinner time so much easier. Alright, so got that on. Let's take a little bit of, because I'm wearing, as so you can see this is kind of a, greenish gold almost floral kimono on top of a t-shirt and some jeans so i'm going to go in the, on the lid there's this gold color right here so i'm going to put that on the lid and i'm going to use a little paddle brush here for that pick up that oh that's pretty I forgot how pretty this is. All right. Let's go over to the other eye. Put that up. All right. Now I will go in to the outside. Let's, see. Let's do this little domed 
This is a uh, Japanese. It's a domed shader. Very dense. So I'm going to go into this dark brown color right here. Tap into that, shake it off, and then I'm just going to start laying it and making the V. Giving it that upward eye lifting look. And let's see. I'm not going to do a, a whole lot with it, just there. I can tell that I've got a little bit of fallout on there. And that go. Oh, like magic, it's gone. So let's see, where is the, here it is, the shader, or the uh, small transition brush that I use. I'm just going to go back in a little bit above that. Kind of rub that in a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to take my finger in this highlight, highlight one right here and just kind of go underneath the eyebrow. Just a smidgen right there. I'll also take this little bitty brush into that same highlight and then do the corners of my eye. right there. Now, here is a pointy brush. What I like to do is I'm going to take in here in these two, it's kind of a lighter brown, if you can see them or not. The shininess on there is, is hard with these lines, but I'm going to take um, this one right here just go in a little bit, and I'm going to do the outside part of the bottom of my eyelid right there. Now I'm going to go in with the gold one that I did on the inside of the gold and do from the end to meet that one. And that one kind of overtook, so I'm going to go back to compensate and get that darker one again to come back. Uh, I drug it too much into it, so that's pretty. So what I'm going to do here, I'll do one eye and then I'll come back and do the other. I'll come back after I've done the other one. But what I want to do is the eyeliner that I'm going to use, which is going to be the tight line, is... This is the from the Believe Beauty. It's a long lasting. It's called in Mystic. It's kind of like a, a brown. So I'm just going to go into the lashes from underneath. You see? What a difference it makes in defining the eye, but not heavy on it. So, what I'm going to do as well is, as lightly as I can, go into the bottom lashes. see okay now because of the color that I'm wearing I thought it would be good to take this is another bully beauty and this one is, is in called um, Olivia but it's an olive green <laughs> which kind of goes with what I'm wearing so I'm going to put this in my bottom waterline here for uh, a little bit of color to go with those neutrals. Okay. 
All right, so there's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and catch this side up with it, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the other eye completely done. I uh, put some mascara on. I used uh, just the Wet n Wild Mega Length. Uh, but I'll probably go on and put some eyelashes on as well, too. But I thought we'd do the lips right now. So first I did my lips with this. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. And this is uh, in watermelon. And so it's just this little cute little tub. And it smells like watermelon. This little, just this little scrub. So I did that to prime it, and then I put on the Vaseline Lip Therapy that I love so much. And uh, this is well-loved e.l.f. It's got the lip plumper on one end, which, because I haven't gone through the other, I can't completely get rid of it yet. I've got a new one and back up but I'm gonna get a little bit of this this is a cinnamon and cinnamon plumps your lip uh, I've actually have taken and made my own by just a basic uh, non-fragrant lip salve and then we'll add some cinnamon oil to it and Put that and keep that in a little container to make my own little lip plumper. So we've got this so nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go on the other end, which is the primer. And it's going to look kind of, uh, but this really helps it to stay. And so what I do is I just take my fingers. And kind of just push it in to kind of make it melt. To my lips. Alright, now I'm ready for uh, my lipstick. Now this is, I have been looking for a dupe for my favorite lip liner, which is... Uh, Lancome's Ideal. Uh, I believe it's Lancome. Or is it Elizabeth Arden? I'll have to look and see. But anyway, it's the perfect nude for me. Well, I found this, and this is Milani, again, from the Ulta sale. Uh, and this is called... I've got two. But this one's called 04 All Natural. So we're going to see it's nicely sharpened, and this is a uh, color statement lip liner. So, now for aging lips, remember don't go all the way to the corner with your lip liner or with your lips, okay? So I'm just stopping. Right about here. So this is a pretty new color. I'm liking it. It's a very close to the ideal. On top as well. Don't go all the way to the corner. Very smooth. So far, I'm liking this. All right, there it is. The lip liner is on. Now, what I got also in there is another is a Milani. This is called the Bold Matte. 
and it's in the black packaging and this color and I love how they put it in big print isn't that nice of them can you see that it's big print so I can easily see it and it's 04 I am smart now they had some others there was I am bold and uh, there's another couple I am's but of course it reminded me of the movie uh, oh darn I've gone blank uh, Where it was, uh, I am. Where she was teaching the little girl. The, she was the the maid and the caretaker for the little girl, and she was teaching. She said, I, "You is you is pretty. You is smart," and she was teaching her that, which I thought was so funny. But that's immediately. Uh, I read the book too, and I saw the movie. Why can't I think of this? Okay, brain fart. All right, let's just get up to the lipstick. Here it is right here. Can you see this? a beautiful nude color. So it looks very creamy, so we're going to try it out and see how it is. What do we think for a pretty nude? All right, now we have to do, make the nail. All right, the test, or not the test, but to keep it from off the thing. We have to do that. And my daughter says you have to do it several times. All right, so. All right, I'm going to go off and put some uh, eyelashes on, and I'll be right back.